Good morning. How are you? It's Monday morning. I actually just had my, it was my birthday weekend. It was my birthday on Saturday that Click Clack is Parker. There you are. Hi. Here's my boy. Say hi to YouTube. Yeah. But I actually got some very, very exciting news. Not this past weekend, but the weekend before that. I actually have something else to tell you about that weekend as well. I'll get to that. So last weekend, I received an email from this group that does these artist workshops called RAW. They're doing a showcase in Edmonton on August 4th. And from my understanding, they basically just recruit local artists to come set up there. You, that you show up and you've got a booth ready for you with like a grid you can put stuff on. And um, they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to come do their August 4th showcase. And I was like, uh, yeah, absolutely. As long as I sell 20 tickets, I get to come sell as much art as I want there for free. Like I don't have to pay a table fee or anything, which at this stage where I'm just kind of getting off the ground and don't really have a lot of like funds to support what I'm doing other than coming out of my own pocket. Um, it's like crazy, such a great opportunity. So I'm very, very excited. Although I'm realizing that 20 tickets is a lot more to sell than I thought at first. At first I was like, 20 tickets, pff, easy peasy. I know lots of people. <laughs> um, but then like the people who you would be like, yeah, they buy a ticket, they end up being busy and they can't come. And uh, like people are out of town. And so like you think you know 20 people for sure, but then a good chunk of those people just can't make it. And then... Uh, yeah, that's that's just what I'm going through right now. So fingers crossed I can figure something out and get those 20 tickets sold because I would really love to pay out of pocket for this. But I'm just really excited for an opportunity to network with people who live in the Edmonton area who come out to this event. I think that's going to be really neat. I've been to one of these events before and the type of, there's such a broad range of artists there that from what I remember at least like my stuff will really stand out and be quite different from what's there so but I mean it could be a completely maybe this particular showcase will have lots of people who are like me which would be I think it would be equally cool equally cool to meet artists who have similar styles to me and also some people who are quite different so anyways so right now I'm just in the stages of getting everything ready I recently ordered some like display materials from Amazon so those are coming in soon. Okay, and so the piece of news that I mentioned earlier about last weekend that I didn't dive into, I will dive into now, which is that Kelsey and I got engaged. We've been together for eight years. I am so happy to be engaged to the love of my life and we're really excited to start planning our wedding, which we've known for a long time we were gonna do that. Um, we'd like have a wedding, but like well, now that we're officially engaged, we're actually planning it. We're having fun with it. It uh, Kelsey keeps saying like, I'm, I'm a fan of being engaged. It feels, it like hits different somehow, which we're, we're both kind of surprised it feels so different. Like we were like, oh, it's gonna be the same, but it's really not. I don't know, I don't know how it's different, but it is, but in a very, in a very good way. some stuff for display materials for my table at the showcase. So I'm gonna open them up and make sure they are gonna work for what I'm planning on using them for. I got two sets of these. There's little gold stands for putting the cards on. I liked the gold. It's a little bit of a weird gold, like it's not a true gold, it's kind of yellowy looking, but I now that I think about it, I think I'm gonna be using like a yellow tablecloth. I'm regretting getting this gold because it might look weird against the yellow tablecloth, but that is okay. Maybe I'll get a different tablecloth because of that. Anyways, for the cards. And then I've seen lots of artists using these cool like bamboo dish racks as a way to like have their art standing upright, which is genius because they're so cheap and the bamboo is like a little bit more eco-friendly of a material. I got two of them because I don't think I'll actually need to for the amount of racks, but I want to be able to spread them out a bit more. 
and eventually I'll be able to use it all. Such simple engineering, but so genius. Perfect for what I need it for. It's just the right size too. This pen pen got spayed the other day. She's doing really well. She's got her little shaved spot on her arm from the IV and shaved belly, but she's a champion. She did really good. As I mentioned before, Penny got spayed the other day and she has been doing really good. She hasn't really tried to like lick her stitches or anything. I've caught her kind of going close to it a couple times though. And I wanted to be able to like leave the house without worrying about her. So I went and bought her a little surgical suit and look how cute she is. Penny. <laughs> it's like a turtleneck. It looks, <laughs> it looks like a black turtleneck. I want to put on, if it wasn't like hot, hot summer right now, I'd put on my own black turtleneck and, and match. <laughs> also have to show you, my mom made me the cutest thing. Oh, fuck it. She made me <laughs> in my little fun gal hat. Because I, this is like what my logo looks like. It's so cute. She gave me curtain bangs and like wavy hair the way I like to do my hair. <laughs> I like, I love her. I feel like she's also me because her hair is very thin and doesn't do what I want it to. Also, she said she was gonna make me my like a hat that actually fits me that's like the same and I am so excited. <laughs> but she broke right away. into your bed. From this camera angle, I can just see your little floating head. Hi, baby. Hi. Hello. I just love this wall so much. It feels so like, like my soul thrown onto a wall. I'm making like a little bunting banner that's gonna go on my little grid that's behind my booth. And um, I just did and procreate like a little sample of what it's gonna look like. I drew out like a very rough sketch of like what the table's gonna look like. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure like the colors of the whole thing together look good and I decided I wanna go with this like color palette with reds and yellows because my kind of like logo is those colors. This, it kind of goes with this and it's very like very warm and um, that's the vibe that I want. So I think I'm gonna do those colors. I'm trying to decide whether I want to do, like I've got the um, shop name up there and I'm trying to decide what I wanna put on like the little in-between triangles or if I'm just gonna leave them blank in between. Could I just do little mushrooms, be very on brand, but I don't know, I don't know yet. I think I might just make it like this and then I can always like glue on something after if I want it to be on there, but I can't. Well, I guess I could make. Anyways, now I'm just planning out loud. That's what's on the agenda today. I'm also gonna start putting this vlog together, the one that you're currently watching. <laughs> and uh, and uh, what else was on my list today? I can't remember right now, but we'll see.
my name is Katie and I'm a mixed media artist from Edmonton, Alberta. When I work in analog, my favorite mediums are watercolor, gouache, and colored pencil, and I also love to work digitally in Procreate. My art is often inspired by my desire to more deeply appreciate the things that I really value, so my subjects are often found in nature, are just things that are really cute and fun and cozy and just represent the small joys in life. I currently own a little online store called Fun Gal Studio where a lot of my work is mushroom inspired. This Thursday is primarily a showcase. I thought that I would want to, unlike the grid that's part of my little setup, have some original pieces up there. So I painted a whole bunch of little like five by seven originals that are gonna go up on the wall behind me. And I actually, while I was painting these, I decided to go with this like little five by seven format because I really like working in a smaller format and um, as I was making them I thought these would be really cute to like just have on the wall there but then also put prices on them and sell them if anybody feels particularly attached to any of them so I think they're all going to just be kind of pinned up on the wall behind me but they'll also be up for sale for anybody who wants them because it's, it's kind of cool and special to get to by an original piece of art, so yeah, I'm still deciding how much to sell them for because I'm still pretty new to selling art in person and it is such a weird thing to decide what your own art is worth, but um, I'm leaning towards like $20 because it's quite small, but I don't know if that's underselling it or not. 15 feels way too low and 25 could also work, but I feel like 20 is just easier, like if someone really wants one and they have a $20 bill, it, it's easy. I think I'm going to do a couple more of these though. I wanted to do some that were of flowers and the backgrounds that I had already didn't quite go with the colors I wanted to do with the flowers. So I think I'm going to do some like wild roses, either on this one or this one. Pretty much all of these except for a couple of them I kind of went more the route of making like a little character. Most of them are birds and other animals that I see around here where I live, which has been a big source of my inspiration to make art lately. So. I also have to punch out all of the um, all the letters on this felt board, which I'm very glad I bought, but I'm going to be sitting here for a while doing that.
The showcase went incredibly well. Kelsey came out with me to help me set up and we were able to get everything ready with plenty of time before things started. Right at seven o'clock when the doors opened, there was a huge line I heard from everyone coming in and it was just packed wall to wall with people, which was a little nerve wracking after a few years of lockdowns. Couldn't believe how much stuff I sold. People were super kind. I think people said like, this is so cute to me, like countless times, like almost everyone who came up to my booth said that it was really sweet. I gave out so many business cards. I sold way more products than I even envisioned I would. My goal was to make enough to to make products for like fall and winter launch stuff and I definitely met that goal. I got to meet a bunch of the other artists who were showcasing there and I met so many kind, really sweet, wonderful, like-minded people and I'm so grateful I got that opportunity to get to know these lovely humans I never would have gotten to meet otherwise. And also so many of my friends and family came out and were just so overwhelmingly supportive and loving and I, it was just such a positive experience overall and I feel very, it really helped give me confidence that I can be successful doing this, doing future markets and stuff like that. Until I got to do it firsthand, it's always a big question mark of whether people would like the stuff that I make and just being able to see so many people have positive reactions to it just gave me the confidence to go out and um, apply for some more markets and just keep doing what I'm doing and I'm just so so grateful I got the opportunity. I just can't say enough good things. It was it was wonderful. I'm signing off on this video here. Thank you so much for watching. You are wonderful. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.